Hello, my name is Adam from Rome, and in this video, we're going to be installing a vehicle box on this Yamaha R6. First thing you'll need is a pair of Rome Zeros and your Rome vehicle box. Before we begin installing the vehicle box on this motorcycle, we're going to go through a test to make sure the vehicle box and the shoes and the network is working correctly. So the first thing we're going to need to do is remove the seat and set it aside. And on this bike, we will also remove the rear seat. And we will need to strip back all five wires on this vehicle box. Now that we have stripped back all five wires, we'll go through and begin the test of the Rome Zero network. For this, we're gonna get access to the battery. The first thing we're gonna do is take the black wire. We're gonna attach it to the negative terminal on the battery. Now before we begin, we need to test the networks. We need to turn the shoes on by squeezing and releasing the flap under each shoe. And now the shoes are on. We have 60 seconds to do the next steps. So first thing we're going to do is take the green and red wires, twist them together, and touch them to the positive terminal on the battery. You should see the backs of both shoes light up red. So that means the brakes work. Now we can disconnect the red and green wires. We're going to twist together the red and blue wire. Touch the red and blue wire together to the positive terminal on the battery. And you should see the right shoe light up yellow. We're going to remove the blue wire. And lastly, we're going to twist the red and yellow wires together and touch the red and yellow wires to the positive terminal on your battery. And the left shoe should illuminate solid yellow. So now that we've verified the left shoe network works, the right shoe network works, and the brakes work, you can go ahead and remove the negative terminal wire from your battery and tighten that terminal back down. Alright, so now that we have access to the wires, we need to find the wire for your brake light and tail light um, and the wires for your left turn signals and right turn signals. So, we can see here that the left turn signals and white turn signals are these two connectors here and the brake light is in here which we can disconnect. You'll need a multimeter, so we'll grab one. And you go ahead and set this to 20 volts DC. You'll need to turn the bike on. And we're going to first check the connector for your tail light. We need to find the ground and positive wire for your tail light. So, look at the wires. On this, I'm going to assume that the black wire is for the ground, we'll choose one of the other pins, and you'll see that it says 12 volts on the multimeter, which means that is the daytime running tail light. <clears throat> we'll also need to find the brake light, so we'll take the red pin and move it over to the other connector, and it reads zero, but when we grab the brakes, it should read 12 volts. So now we know that the black wire is ground. The brown wire is the tail light and the yellow wire is the brake light. We'll need to go through and find the positive wire for your left turn signal and the positive wire for your right turn signal. So that's what we use these other connectors. We'll need to turn the right turn signal on your motorcycle. And using the same black ground we used before on the tail light, we will touch one of the pins. And if you see about 12 volts or if you see the multimeter jump around from zero to a voltage and back, that's how you know that is the positive wire for that turn signal. Positive wire as the green wire for this R6. We'll need to go through and find your left turn signal with the black wire on the same spot for your brake light. We'll go through and find the other wire. So the left turn signal is the brown wire on the connector. Turn off your turn signal and you can turn off your bike. And we know the wire codes. Because we'll need to splice into the positive wire for your left turn signal, the positive wire for your right turn signal, the positive wire for your brake light, the positive wire for your tail light, and the ground wire for your tail light. The first thing we'll begin with is the ground wire, the tail light, and the brake light wire, which is in this connector. For this, we'll need to strip back a little bit of this shrink tubing and get access to the wires. You can use a tool to 
carefully cut back some of their water cooking and tubing. Okay, now we have access to the black wire, which is our ground wire, the yellow wire, which is our brake light wire, and the brown wire, which is our running tail light wire. Now you have to note that different motorcycles have different colors, so you need to make sure you take notes of which wires are which uh, colors. We also want to make sure we cut the tubing back enough so that we can cut these wires and still have enough room to twist them together and solder them. So the first thing we'll do is cut all three wires and we need to strip these back so I will grab the stripper. So the strands all come together to make one solar wire. Set this aside. We also need to strip back all three wires here on the vehicle side. twist those wires as well. So you're twisting all the strands in the wire together and that helps with fraying. And it's very important when you do this step to make sure your vehicle is off. The next thing we're going to do is come back here and twist together the brown wire to the brown wire. The yellow wire to the yellow wire. black wire to the black wire. So what we're doing is we're reconnecting this uh, connector, your tail light, back to the vehicle. We'll go out the vehicle box and using the instruction booklet you can see that the black wire on this vehicle box should go to the ground and we've established that the black wire on this connector is the ground. So we'll go ahead and twist that black wire directly into the ground wire for your tail light. We want the red wire for the vehicle box to be uh, power that is controlled by your ignition. So a tail light is a great example of that. So we'll go ahead and connect the red wire to the brown wire because the brown wire on this bike uh, turns your tail light on when you turn the key on and your tail light turns off when you turn your key off. Now the last thing we'll do on this connector is use the green wire, which is for your brake light. We've established the yellow wire on this is the positive wire for your brake light. So we'll twist the green wire into the yellow. Now making sure these aren't touching, we can go ahead and test the network before we proceed. So what we'll want to do is turn on the shoes. We'll turn on the bike. When we hit the brakes, the back should light up in red. So we can turn the bike off and begin the next steps. So we have verified that this white connector is the right turn signal connector, and we verified that the green wire on this is the positive wire for your right turn signal. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut back that tubing. Again, be careful not to cut the wires by accident. Now that we've cut back the tubing, we have access to the wires, and you want to do the same thing for the positive wire for that turn signal, which is this green wire. Cut it, and we'll strip it back. As before, we'll twist the wires. We'll come back here, and we'll twist these together. Now that we have those twisted together, this is the right turn signal, which is the blue wire on the vehicle box, to the positive wire for your right turn signal. Now with none of the wires touching, we can turn on the bike and we can verify. So we really just need to turn on your right shoe. And on the motorcycle, we're going to hit the right turn signal, and the right shoe should become a turn signal. We can turn off the right shoe, right, the right blinker, 
turn off the bike. And now since we only turn the right shoe on, only the right shoe is going to auto shut down. We need to repeat the same process for the left turn signal. The left turn signal is this black connector. And again, we need to cut back the tubing, being careful not to cut the wires. Now that we've cut the tubing back, we have access to the wires, and we're concerned with the brown wire. The brown wire is the positive wire for your left turn signal. Cut it in a place where we can have enough room to strip them and twist them back together. Strip back both the connector side and the vehicle side. Twist the strands together. Twist the wire back to itself. You really want to twist those to good. And this is the wire that we're going to connect the yellow wire from the vehicle box to. Now with none of the wires touching, we need to turn on the motorcycle and turn on each shoe. And now we can test the left turn signal to make sure the left turn signal works, which we just hooked up. We can verify the right turn signal still works. We can verify the brakes light up the back of both in red. You can try both the handbrake and the foot brake. And that's it. We've installed the box. Now we need to go through the wires and do some wire management. We're going to go through and solder all the connectors so that things are a little more permanent. Nothing's going to come loose. Uh, and then we'll go through and electrical tape the wires and add them back to these shrink tubings. Okay, now we have a soldering iron, some solder. We need to make sure the vehicle is off. We're going to take a good piece of solder using the soldering iron and cut it. One thing with soldering is you never really want to skim on your solder, so don't cut this too short and uh, use a lot. So we'll put a little bit on the soldering iron. Now that we have all the wires soldered, we can set the soldering iron aside and unplug it. That is going to be hot for a while, so be careful not to touch that. You have to be careful. The wires are still a little hot from the soldering. Cut yourself a piece of electrical tape. make sure none of the metal is showing. Now that all five wires have electrical tape around them to make sure nothing's touching, you will need to connect your connectors. I'm going to turn the shoes back on. Turn the bike on. Test the brakes. Left and right turn signals. And then turn the bike off just to verify nothing came loose. All you have to do is assemble the seats and that's how you install a Rome vehicle box on your motorcycle. I hope you enjoy your products, and to all my fellow riders, ride safe.